Hey guys, what's up? Been a almost two weeks, I think. I apologize. Um, I'm not gonna dwell on the apologies for too long, but I've been taking one of my falling off the earth moments, uh, which would be awesome if you could just kind of fall off the earth. But um, I don't think um, I've done that for quite a while because you've had quite regular videos from me but happened a lot a couple of years ago I just don't want to do anything for a couple of weeks uh, just play video games and not have to worry about doing work or studying or doing anything remotely which requires effort um, apologies yeah um, but it's been two weeks and I just had the urge to make a video and if I don't have the urge when I get up in the morning I don't do it you know it's like sex if you're not if you're not up for it then you're really not gonna enjoy it <laughs> um, but I had the urge it's um 5 30 in the morning I've been up all night my sleeping patterns are a bit weird at the moment and I just wanted to have a little chat so here we are, having a chat. I haven't got the gameplay in front of me, so apologies and whatever it may be, probably Modern Warfare 3. But I haven't been playing a lot of COD recently, so tomorrow, probably the day after, I'll be getting out my recording equipment, getting some Black Ops footage, want to finish my road to Commander, and get some gameplay with my subs on that. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, the link's down in the description below. I'll be posting on there when I want people to play with me on the Road to Commander and I'll give you a channel shout out and everything like that. So, that's all good. Looking forward to getting back to it. Just been chilling with FIFA and just reading quite a bit. I'm um, quite into my books and shit. A lot of porn. A lot of porn. You do not want to look on my laptop. I swear. That's why it's missing keys, poor little baby. But uh, I'm getting a new one soon as well as new recording equipment, an HD PVR, and I'm sure you guys will be happy to hear that. Um, we have a, uh, we're selling the house, well not the house we live in obviously, but um, the second house. We're putting that up on the market and that's going for a fair amount. Uh, so we're going to have quite a bit of money and that's going to make me feel a lot better about shit um, so I'll definitely have HD PVR new TV, new laptop the ability to do a lot of new things ah, the ability to have a uh, snowball snowball mic probably which is um, if you don't know what snowball mic is you uh, have it like on the desk it's one of those big ones uh, and that means I don't have to have a headset on because at the moment I really want to put my chin down on my chest and I can't because that would make a horrible noise because the mic would hit me so I'm really looking forward to getting the new equipment and the gaming room set up my mum is just epically awesome and she's letting Luke and I uh, if you don't know who Luke is, that's my boyfriend um, she's letting us have a gaming room and that is just amazing it's going to just be like um, where we have the TVs the computers, the uh, workout shit that I have, and all of that stuff, and it's going to be our entire room, and that's that's really cool. On the mention of um of Luke, someone asked oh, a couple of days ago. I didn't reply to the comment. I am so sorry, but again, falling off face of the earth. Someone asked, "Can I do like a face video to show my face? I've already done that. You look through my recent videos. Um, it's a vlog." I show both Luke and mine's faces. I'm, I'm about to say it'll be down in the description, but I don't know about my enthusiasm levels for doing any kind of effort based stuff. Like, this is really easy. <laughs> this kind of commentary is really easy because I have all the gameplay recorded, and all I need to do is talk into a mic and a computer for however long I feel like it and then just match it up because all of the editing like uh, colour correction and shit is automatic so I don't know about my enthusiasm levels for work but I'm nicely chilled out right now how are you guys doing? I've uh, 
had a bit of chicken and mum buys these chickens from the little supermarket and they're freshly cooked and they're whole so we sometimes have lunches where we just have a whole chicken just <laughs> plopped in front of us and we eat what we want and then have the rest in sandwiches later but um and ah my my bra's coming on at the back also if you haven't noticed i've had a little bit to drink if you've never had french chenet i really recommend it oh, i swear men complain about undoing these bras but the damn things you try and un undo it up when it's behind you and it is bloody difficult i'm not even kidding I'm not going to keep talking about it, but we'll see how long I struggle with it. Oi. But, ha, ah, got it, okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. But apart from falling off the face of the earth and all that sh shit, uh, everything's good. Uh, one of my cats is a bit sick, uh, but he's a tough little bastard. And he's putting on weight again, he's pulling through, so he should be okay. Got eight of them if you are new to the channel. I haven't been keeping up on the Black Ops 2 news. I need to do that. I also need to lower my voice, so just a bang from outside. Probably a cat, but it might be a human being telling me to shut the fuck up. I uh, probably should have to turn my music off, which is just blasting through my headset and probably making me talk a bit louder than I need to. But everything's going quite well for me. I feel bad about not doing a video. I really did. Ah, but yeah, everything's really good. Has anyone, just on a completely random note, I'm thinking about how to sink into this, but has anyone watched the uh, BBC series, which is basically the British series Sherlock Holmes? Short, fuck, Sherlock Holmes. Oh my god, it's awesome. Oh, it's amazing. You need to watch that. You really do. You go onto a website like Sidereel or Watch Series. And it, it's just epically, epically amazing. Uh, two seasons, six episodes so far, because when we don't do seasons like you do over in America with like 20 episodes, we just do like three. And that makes me sad face, because that's less of the TV shows and the characters that I like. But we don't have the money that you do, which makes me sad. And we have a lot of cancelled series. Excuse me. There was one um, season series, you'll never have heard of it, it's called Eternal Law, it's made over here as well, and it's about these <laughs> these angels who have to pose as lawyers, and it, there's more to it than that, and it sounds really shitty when I talk about it like that, but it's really, really good. And it got cancelled after one season, and they were just like, fuck off, why do you cancel it? When things like Big Brother had, like, I don't know how many seasons, and things like I don't know, Strictly Calm Dancing, that's still going. The shittiness of shit. And the fact that no one in any way sane could possibly be entertained by that. And then you get a great series like that cancelled. It boggles the mind. It. Oh, you don't want to hear this, do you? You could not be less interested in this at all. But I definitely recommend Sherlock. Um, got slash in it. Well, it's got slash if you're, you've got these slash goggles on. If you don't know what slash is, it's a. Uh, you know what slash is, and. <laughs> if you don't know what slash is, look it up on Google. And then someone in your family will find it in your browser history and laugh at you. Um, but slash goggles are like uh, football goggles, like you support a certain team which is a good uh, euphemism and you can't say a word about that team that is bad. Uh, I've been reading uh, De Camp recently. Apologies if there's a bang here. Ow. Is it? No, Mein Camp. Yeah. If it, uh, what's that translated into? I think it's My Struggle. Yeah, My Struggle. It's uh, the, a book Hitler wrote. And no, I'm not a weird, freaky, anti-Semitic person, but I've always found it fascinating to read the book, these kind of books. Like I have another one over here by um, 
uh, Das Kapital by Karl Marx, and you'll have never heard of that, because a lot of you are too young to even know what this is, but it is the, um, the guy who, oh, a couple of hundred years ago, wrote about communism in that time, and the social constructs of it, and how he predicted that capitalism, which is basically the society that we live by, would die out because it could not function with the increasing, like, you know, basically increasing people. He predicted that richer would just become richer and the poorer would become poorer and poorer and the capitalist society couldn't survive that, so we'd all turn to communism. Obviously, he was wrong, and I'll probably go into this in greater depth when I'm a bit sober and do a proper commentary about it, but I've always, the point is, I've always found it interesting to read books by these people just because don't you ever wonder what was going through Hitler's mind like why he did the things he did because I can't really consider killing millions of people I mean killing millions of people doesn't really enter my mind on a daily basis um so it's interesting for me at least to see other people's points of view I guess it's been a very weird commentary hasn't it yeah but apologies again for leaving you guys for so long but I I you know I do this sometimes I can't you can't blame me but there'll be a lot of uh, Black Ops 2 shit coming out when the game does and I have some ideas from new series and stuff and I'm not sure if I'm going to do them yet, so I'm not going to talk about them, but their ideas kind of spinning around in my head, kind of digging their trenches and carving their thoughts into my brain. So I hope that actually is good and not how freaky it sounds. But I love you guys, and I hope to see you again soon. Peace.